Dr. Vegapunk is one of the most mysterious characters in the One Piece universe. He's been mentioned multiple times throughout the One Piece storyline, but we've never seen his appearance or know much about his background. Why has Oda been hiding this character from us for so long? If Vegapunk was simply a scientific genius, it doesn't quite justify why he hasn't been revealed, because his reveal wouldn't really mean much. After all, no matter how smart he is, he's just a scientist. Therefore, I think there is more to Vegapunk than a brilliant scientist. I think Oda has been hiding him because his appearance and background reveal a lot more about the One Piece world than just the fact that he's a scientist. After looking more into this, I've come to believe that Vegapunk is related to Skypeans. Now my logic largely stems from where the Skypeans originally came from. They are the descendants of people from Burka, a civilization from the moon and at some point in time descended to Earth. Now this civilization was revealed in Enel's cover story between chapters 428 and 474. The people from Burga were comprised of three different groups. The ancestors of the Skypeans, which were people with two antennae, the ancestors of the Shangya, which were people wearing animal fur over their heads, and a third group wearing helmets that landed on the sky island of Burga, where Enel is from. I think Vegapunk is a direct descendant of this third group. Now let me explain. The Burka people from the moon were technologically advanced and built robots called Automata to run their day-to-day -day operations. But I don't think all of the Burka people had superb technological capabilities. As we see, the people of Shandia, who are descendants of the Burka group that wore animal fur over their heads, were a rather technologically backwards group who still believed in myths and had little knowledge of science or medicine. So the technological prowess of the Burka civilization was likely possessed by the group wearing helmets, um, which honestly remind me that they were probably inventors or engineers. After all, engineers commonly wear helmets. This group eventually descended to a sky island where Enel is from and named the place Burka. Let's call them the Burka people from Sky Island. Now we also see in Enel's cover story that Dr. Tsukimi was inside a laboratory on Karakuri Island building robots that are suspiciously similar to the automata seen on the moon. Now where did he have the knowledge and more importantly, tools to build these robots? We know Dr. Vegapunk was born on Karakuri Island and spent a large portion of his youth there designing certain inventions and technology. Therefore, his laboratories probably contain the knowledge and tools to build the automata, which Dr. Tsukimi used to actually make them. But how could both Dr. Vegapunk and the Birkin people from the moon possess the same knowledge to build these robots and have similar technological prowess? This would make sense if Vegapunk was a descendant of the Birka people from Sky Island that possessed technological genius. The intellect that Vegapunk possesses was probably inherited from the original Birkins. Another thing to note is that the Birkin people from the sky are quite scattered within the One Piece universe. Enel and his army left their homeland and went to Skypea. Arug, who is also Birkin, has been seen in both the sky and on the blue seas. We know he's a pirate. So maybe other Birkins are also scattered, and some eventually landed on the blue seas. If they landed on Karakuri Island and settled there, which is possible, this would directly explain how Vegapunk is a direct descendant of the Birkin people. If this is true, there is a possibility that Vegapunk has wings and other characteristics similar to all of the Bergens and their descendants, the Skypeans and the Shandia. This would then explain why Oda has not yet chosen to reveal Vegapunk's appearance, as revealing it would allow everyone to immediately make this connection and would be too big of a reveal in the One Piece universe. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more One Piece content. See you in the next one.